Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be discussing with you some new leaks of the upcoming Transformers Studio Series, Deluxe Class Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave and Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Sentinel Prime. In today's video I'm going to be showcasing our best look at each of these characters in their official robot modes and these leaks come to us via a Walmart listing which actually has these placeholder official images currently up on display. Now as these have only been taken from a scanner at Walmart. The images are not of the highest quality, however they do give us our best look at the figures yet and I do imagine as I stated previously in other videos that we'll get a better look at these over at tomorrow's New York Toy Fair. Taking a look at the Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Soundwave, here we have a CG render of the Soundwave Deluxe figure as he will come packaged in his robot mode. Now I've got to say that I am majorly disappointed by this newest release from Hasbro. This is definitely a huge letdown in my opinion, as this figure looks absolutely nothing like we saw in the movie. Hasbro have appeared to have given this figure a rather humanoid look, which is of course inaccurate to the movie. Soundwave was merely just a satellite within the movie. So I really do hope that this is actually Soundwave's second mode, and that the alt form of Soundwave actually being a satellite will Will be a lot more movie accurate in terms of its look than the look that we have here. We can see here that he does have a very almost night aesthetic to him with the satellite pauldrons which do appear to hang from his behind. We can also see that he does in fact have these satellite pauldrons also on his arms as well and these look really ghastly to me and not very cool at all. I definitely think that this figure will look a lot better when in his satellite mode rather than in this robot mode. I do hope that this robot mode was merely just put here so that this figure could transform. We can see that he does have some nice blue electric detailings within the torso as well as on the arms and he does look to have a really nice looking head sculpt, a lot more accurate to the Revenge of the Fallen movie with the rather visor aesthetic than the eyes that we got on the Dark of the Moon version. We can also pick out some woofers actually on the forearms of Soundwave which too have also been giving a nice metallic blue paint scheme. It does also appear that this figure will be rather drab in terms of its colour scheme. There are some slight silver highlights throughout the figure but for the most part it does appear as if though it will just be a completely grey plastic. Something which is worth noticing is that this figure will in fact have an ankle rocker joint we can see here from just how this figure is positioned. But as it stands for now this figure definitely doesn't look great and quite honestly isn't how I was expecting the Revenge of the Fallen version of Soundwave to look. As stated previously I do believe that the actual satellite mode for this will be more accurate than this robot mode as of course we never really saw Soundwave in Revenge of the Fallen as an actual transformed robot that was in the humanoid in its design. He was always floating in space within that movie. So I am going to hold my reservations on what I think of this figure entirely until we get some more images of Soundwave's alt form. But definitely for now, I'm slightly let down by this latest leaked photo. And finally, the next figure that I'll be taking a look at is the already rumoured and upcoming Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class Sentinel Prime. And I've got to say that taking a look at this official CG render that has been leaked on that Walmart listing, this definitely does look as if though it's going to be a really good figure into the studio series. Sentinel Prime has been a character that I've wanted in this line for quite some time and this figure definitely doesn't look as if though it will disappoint whatsoever. We can see that much like how I took a look at the figure in the in-packaged leaked photo that we got a few weeks ago, this figure will have some fantastic movie accurate detailing and the head sculpt looks incredibly detailed with a fantastic silver red paint scheme. We can also see that this figure will in fact include accessories, something which wasn't apparent in the in-packaged shot. This figure only at the moment appears to be wielding his sword so there's no confirmation on whether or not we'll actually get sentinel shield nor blaster. I'm not entirely too bothered about the blaster but I really hope that this figure does include the shield as sentinel prime was notorious for wielding both the sword and the shield within the movie but just taking a look at the figure I think that the colour scheme looks fantastic he does look incredibly agile and I really do like the knight aesthetic that they've got going on for him as well. He does look very streamlined which is cool and he also does have the top of the fire truck hanging out on the back as a cape much like we saw on the Dark of the Moon leader class sentinel. So definitely a great looking figure and it does appear as if though it'll have some nice articulation too. Once again this isn't the clearest of images so I imagine we'll get a better look at this tomorrow when the official high res images come out from Hasbro as well as some of the in person photos but for now this figure definitely does look incredibly promising and besides Devastator I'm really anticipating Sentinel Prime's release. 
So those were my initial thoughts on some of the newly leaked Transformers Studio Series figures. As stated previously, these are not the clearest of images, but from what we can tell from these two releases at the moment, my anticipation for the Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave definitely isn't as high as I would have liked it to have been. I do think that I'll probably be a lot more excited for this figure once we get some in-hand photos of him, as well as a clearer look at both of Soundwave's modes. Sentinel Prime looks absolutely fantastic. Once again, we don't have the clear nearest shot of him but judging from this image as well as the image that was leaked when we got the unpackaged photo this figure does definitely look as if though he's going to be incredibly detailed and it's good that we finally get some clarity on whether or not he will in fact include any accessories as for now we can only see the sword however I would imagine they would pack a shield in with sentinel as I stated previously he was notorious for wielding both of those weapons within the movie so out of the two sentinel is definitely the one that I'm looking forward to the most and be sure to check out my channel probably later on tomorrow for some more coverage when we actually get in-person photos at the Hasbro Transformers booth at this year's New York Toy Fair. Be sure to also let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these newest reveals and whether or not you are a fan of either of Soundwave or Sentinel Prime and until my next video I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.